pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. 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 Here. Councilman McCarthy. Here. Councilman Wareheim. Here. Councilman Creighton. Here. And Councilwoman Noah. Here. Okay, what we'll do this morning is immediately go into a work session. Um, we have a controller here to talk about uh, a capital program. Would you like to come forward? Members of the town board, my name is Donald Mustog. I'm the controller for the town of Smithtown. Um, before you, I have you uh, follow along as I uh, review the uh, capital plan for 2015 through 2019. And I am pleased to present the 2015 preliminary multi year capital plan. Uh, which complies with the New York State Comptroller's multi-year uh, capital planning management planning guide, which I have right here, from the, issued by the New York State Comptroller. The report represents a compilation of responses resulting from the Comptroller's department's solicitation for requested capital projects from the town's department heads. I have to say that department heads were quite uh, forthcoming and complied fully with our requests. All of their responses are included in the report uh, provided to you. By number, the majority of requests are equipment related and therefore will be done at some point in the future as assets deteriorate due to age and usage. So today we meet to discuss more of the timing of replacement than the merits of the request. By far, the majority of the costs relate to the facility upgrades, that is the animal shelter, the marina bulkhead, and street lighting. Here, too, we are discussing the timing of the projects, and of course, for both of these types of projects, we are here to discuss the funding sources to pay for these replacements and projects. I'd like to draw your attention to page three of Exhibit A in your uh, budget uh, presentation. It's the sideways chart that uh, looks like this. Okay. okay. So, in drawing your attention to Exhibit A, the 2015 through 2019 requested capital program, across the bottom, are the requested project totals sorted by years. You'll see that the requested project um, uh, budget is almost $16 million for all five years. 5.6 of it in 2015, 3.1 million in 2016, $6 million in 2017, 2018, as you go out further on, the projects haven't really developed yet. Some of the projects, such as the marina and the bulkhead, have been put into later years to take into account the time needed for design work, permits, etc. During 2015, it is the belief of the department heads that equipment purchases and installation of the street light LED retrofit, which is the majority of the 2015 at $3.1 million, can be completed during this year. The cost for these purchases and installation amount to $5.6 million. There is a strong possibility that we will receive nearly $750,000 in grant reimbursements, which brings the total needed to finance these expenditures to $4.8 million in 2015. It should also be noted that although we could reflect it as a reduction in debt service, we expect to reduce utility costs and repairs by $350,000 as a result of the street lighting LED retrofit, which will offset the cost of the borrowing. 
the cost of the borrowing is $270,000 per year. So we actually more than offset the cost of installation. During 2016, we anticipate that equipment purchases and construction, principally phase one of the animal shelter and phase one of the marina renovation, can be accomplished requiring $3.1 million in financing. In 2017, the completion of both the animal shelter and the marina will require additional funding of $6 million. Please note also that we are advocating for a staggered approach for the replacement of highway trucks so it spreads out the timing of replacement vehicles in the future as opposed to past practices which purchased trucks in bulk. The forms in the report were new forms introduced to the department heads by Paul Rabano, who's sitting over here in the audience, uh, in my office, who was also the principal author of this report. I expect that in future years these reports will be completed in such a manner that the town board will obtain greater insights into the nature and timing of capital projects and that they will include more than equipment replacement uh, requests. Let me address briefly the method for financing these projects. Basically, there are two ways to pay for improvements. Borrowing, consisting of bond issuances and leasing, and payment through the use of current operating funds. Though a departure from past practice, which limited borrowing and, uh, and paid for many of equipment purchases through current operating budgets, Today, I am advocating for borrowing for several reasons. Interest rates are at historically low rates. The town is fiscally strong. Replacement of aging and deteriorating equipment will reduce the amount of funds we need to budget for current repairs and maintenance. Taking advantage of new technologies, such as in the case of LED bulbs for street lights and the municipal solid waste facility, will reduce utility costs, repair costs, and improve safety. Because the town's finances have been conservatively managed over the years, there is little room to cut operating budgets, making the goal of staying within the New York State tax cap increasingly difficult in light of rising compensation, health care, and pension costs. And then finally, let me draw your attention to two charts. The first is Exhibit C, and that's a couple pages back from where you are in the report. It's a bar graph. It looks like this. Here we de depict the existing level of debt service the town must budget for every year. So this is the, our principal and interest payments that we must budget for every year. The dark gray representing uh, what it currently exists, and the light gray is if we borrowed uh, 5.6 million in 2015 and 3.1 million in 2016. Oh, uh, <laughs> sorry. I'm, I'm really not colorblind. Okay. It, uh, I, mine is in black and white to save costs. Oh. <laughs> All right. Um, I, just want, I don't want to interrupt your flow. This chart represents what we currently owe and what if we do the borrowings that you're suggesting? Yes. Okay, now you can explain what the line is. Right. Uh, so this, um, we have also reflected the debt service if the town board agrees to borrow 5.6 million in 2015, though this may be lower, and 3.1 million in 2016. Please note the downward trend. Please also look at Exhibit D, which is the next chart. What does downward trend mean? The, the payments are going payments down. Are going down. This, this chart shows the amount of debt, actual debt, the town has outstanding, showing the two borrowings uh, we will be requesting the town board to approve at a future town board meeting. What this shows us is that because of the conservative fiscal management of this and past town boards, the town's debt service and debt is precipitously dropping, even with the new borrowings I am encouraging you to do. You should be commended for putting the town into a position where it can borrow significant sums of money and still have declining set debt service payments that it must budget for. Though this will not be asked of this town board, if you turn to Exhibit E, which is the next bar graph, you will see that if the town board agrees to all of the borrowing recommended, 
the debt service in 2016 through at least 2021 will never reach the level that we are currently at in 2015. This leaves room in the current operating budget and leaves room for borrowing in the future. I'd also like to point out to the board that the town of Smithtown has the lowest amount of absolute debt and debt per capita of any of the five major towns in Suffolk County, I by you far. Again. Can I stop you again? You said just a minute ago that even if we do all of those borrowings for those five years, or three, five years, right? Yes. The debt continues to go down. I don't know how that happens. Because of the past debts are expiring at such an accelerated rate that you're paying off that debt and adding in the new debt okay. service at lower interest rates, okay. the debt service actually drops. So okay. it, there's no reason to delay borrowing. And, and my final uh, comment is just to, to reiterate, now is the time to borrow when rates are low, and thankfully we are in a position to do so. Respectfully submitted. Town controller. Can we go back to the first page that you mentioned? Yep. What was that? Page three, I think you said. Or was it exhibit A that we need? It was exhibit A, page three. Okay. So in that first column, 2015, which comes to 5.5 million. Yes, sir. You're recommending these purchases. I am. Okay. 60% uh, uh, of which is the LED retrofit for street lights. You had done a significant part of that on state thoroughfares right. in, in the uh, town with state uh, grants. Uh, this would not get receive any grants that I'm aware of. However, um, the uh, vendor represent to us that there will be nearly $350,000 in cost savings resulting from utility reduction costs, and we all know that utility costs are going up, um, and, um, and also in repair costs, and the life of the LED light fixtures are approximately 15 years, uh, contrasted to the current uh, halogen um, lights that we have now. Okay, so you borrowed 3.100, 3 million 1.1. Yes. To put in LED lights. <coughs> And the savings is how much per year? Approximately 350000 When it's complete. When, when it's complete. When it's that, complete. Is, that is correct. What's the debt service on $3 million? 247000 Over the course of how many years? Well, uh, per year. Per year. Per year. So you're going to save 350 per year, and it's going to cost you... Uh, 270000 to pay? Two, excuse me, 270000 I'm sorry. $270,000 in debt service <coughs> per year in debt service, but you're going to save almost $350,000. So it's, it's a free... So you actually... Get money uh, back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, which leaves more room in the operating budget. I mean, that's what really that amounts to. We can't make money on spending money, but you can reduce costs and, and leave room in the operating budget, which is, you know, going to become difficult as, the, uh, as we're limited to the lower of the tax 2% uh, or cost of cost of living. So basically you get the lights without paying interest if you really... That is correct. Kitchen equipment... Without even paying mm -hmm. principal. Mm -hmm. You're actually making back the entire cost in cost savings. The savings were illustrated in phase one as well. Yeah. So I saw a submission. What, what's the kitchen equipment? Is like freezers and things like that? For the senior center? Uh, mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, we, we did put in even smaller expenditures for equipment. Again, not to burden the operating budget uh, in, in this difficult time to budget uh, with the tax cap. Why not put it into debt service? And it matches the, the useful life of the uh, asset, as well as when the citizens, uh, you know, to the citizens who are living in the community during those time periods, especially like the marina and the, uh, and the animal shelter. Current residents will pay, be paying the debt service on those facilities, you know. That okay, Exhibit B on page one. Say again. Supervisor. Exhibit B, page one. Yes. This demonstrates <coughs> the seven hundred and twenty-eight thousand that we anticipate in uh, in, in grant uh, reimbursement. We have to spend the money first before we can uh, uh, seek reimbursement. Um, so what's uh, listed on this page is 
the items that you will be funding are that first year's borrowing. That is correct. And this board cannot mm -hmm. commit future town boards to um, no. expenditures. But um, I think one of the reasons we're advocating for a five-year plan, and I think as this develops over the years, uh, it gives a direction for this and future town boards as to the projects that are on the table uh, that they can. So in MSF, you have a tub grinder to be purchased this year? Beg pardon? In MSF, under MSF you have a tub grinder? Yes. <clears throat> Which we expect 325 in grant reimbursement. Wow. But you'll borrow the whole, the yeah. entire amount? Yeah. We may not do that. That this is obviously a work in process. I, we couldn't fully develop our borrowing um, requirements until we get town board direction on the approval of these projects. We do intend to meet with uh, our um, uh, bond council and um, decide and present to the board a, a more fully developed uh, proposal on borrowing. You, why you think that? The bond council may reject some of these? No, it will not reject them. You will not reject them? No, but uh, we want to borrow the most conservative amount possible, and if I we see. feel that we can advance the money for the grant reimbursement, and, and we can measure the uh, probability that we're going to get the grant reimbursement in a short period of time, I wouldn't want to borrow for that. What's a Vita Root Tank Monitoring? Can you answer that? Also? I can. It, it, number one, it's in your uh, book, but a Vita, Vita okay. Root Monitoring System monitors leakage and seepage from uh, oil tanks and gasoline tanks uh -huh. that are in the ground. And uh, there's a lot of vulnerability to DEC fines if there are leaks. And the Vita Root spits out a tape that, uh, that uh, demonstrates that there is no leakage in those uh, tanks. So these the smaller system. amounts you're uh, advocating that they go into capital budget rather than buying them out of the operating budget? I, I am advocating for that. Mr. Supervisor? Yes. I have a question. Sure. Speaking of the reader monitoring system, right. I have not seen this list of what these projects consist of. However, I would just like to remind the board that we were awarded the uh, local government efficiency program grant in the sum of like 305000 And there are some funds that need to be uh, hmm. allocated on our end. So as that comes up and triggers in my mind, I don't want to see us budgeting for something that might be included in that. Well, well could you, we can. And is that program mm -hmm. included in this list? Okay, you can answer that. Well, I think what well, we. I, I think I, I would welcome working with uh, Mr. Valentine on uh, uh, on, on that uh, component of the project and and develop that more fully. That'd be great. Thank you. I need a clarification. You're just saying. First of all, the number 5.6 million, yes. that could go over down a few hundred thousand either way? Sure. Okay. And that's why he said that. I think that some of the stuff on the 2016, there's a lot of minor stuff, and there's some trucks in there, and the lead time on some of those trucks is substantial. Where will we find that, Tommy? Um, 2016, what? page 2, under the capital request. Which exhibit? Under highway. Exhibit B, A. No, uh, page 1, 2, and 3. Exhibit A. Let's see. We might want to look at the stuff in 2016 because there's a lot of the smaller stuff if we pull into 15. Okay, can, which is two exhibit A's, which one? Well, you, you just go oh, each department. Okay. Every, you got 19,000 for a vehicle replacement. You, you got a lot of small items that have lead times and a few large times, like the broom truck replacement and stuff. Those have huge lead times. It could take six to nine months. But to get the ordering process started in that, some of that stuff should be pulled into 15 from 16. Well, that's... You know, I think that's a good point, um, though we wouldn't be borrowing for that until 2016. But right. But we were well we were yeah. aware, for example, the senior vans take approximately a year to fit yeah. out. But you need the money in place to order, correct? Yeah. yeah. What, what happens if you, you bond for a large amount of money and you get a 600000 or 300000 grant? Do you then take the grant money and repay the uh, debt, or what do you, what do, you do? Well, you have several choices on that. Um, you can repay, you can pay down you can the pay debt. can pay it early? Without. Yes, you can pay it down early. But um, more importantly is um, I, I think we would, we would like to uh, not borrow, you know, that amount if we can anticipate in a short period of time that the grant money will be coming in. 
so in this situation uh, we would the the, um, the general fund would advance the funds and then seek reimburse and then get the reimbursement from rather the, than borrowing rather than borrowing yes that's why I, I've altered the approach here from 5.6 million to bonding to 4.8 million Anticipating a grant. Anticipating strongly that those grants will come in. Okay, it was one project I had recommended on Friday, the Belmead parking lot. Mm -hmm. uh, I just got the estimate from Highway. It's only sixty seventy thousand dollars. Mm -hmm. How much? About sixty seventy thousand dollars, pending the the leases that the town attorney has to get. Is that behind mm -hmm. the old so. Do you want to include that there or pay that out of operating pools? It needs to be done. That's the point of it. Yeah, I, I think it's our approach, <coughs> and it's my recommendation that our approach be to put as much into the capital okay. as possible. And, and what I would, on, on the supervisor's point, on, um, perhaps engineering and I guess Park still maintains those lots. We ought to take a look at all these lots for the out years. Um, so you can have consideration here because Belmead, as the supervisor said, is probably the worst. But you have five or six other municipal lots, including a, as well as some town facilities that I think it would be prudent in the out years, maybe three, four, and five, uh, to start begin to put that in the budget for resurfacing as opposed to reconstruction. If we let them go for another four or five years, some of them, um, Perhaps the one across from the firehouse in Kings Park, you'd probably be reconstructing that. It's about four times the price. So I didn't see that in the facilities money. We ought to maybe include that. Councilman, I think that's the kind of forward thinking that we're going to start to see the department heads uh, do as they get more accustomed to these forms. And, and I think that's an outstanding point. And I, I will bring that up to the buildings and grounds. I think the, the um, I'd like to commend you and, and Paul, if Paul helped you on the document. I think it's excellent. Um, but I do want to ask you as well, in the past, and this is, if we're going in a new direction, that's, that's good by me. In the past, we've borrowed money and put up capital projects multiple times, and they never got done. I think you're aware, when Lou Proto was here, we, we compiled a, quite a bit of funding that was never spent. Mm -hmm. So my question is, if we're going to move in this direction, and I think this is a, a good way to go, who's going to oversee this? Because in the past, the departments have made recommendations. We borrowed the money. Projects never got done. No one ever touched base with it. So does your office have some kind of mechanism through Paul to actually keep tabs so this work actually gets done if we borrow the money? I, I do believe that, uh, you know, Paul, Paul, Paul well, has come to, you come, up to the desk? Paul, come up to Paul come to us uh, with experience from other towns right. and, uh, you know, has actually has a master's degree in public administration and comes with many other talents and so uh go ahead paul sure um what what we would propose to do is have regular reporting and in fact um when we distributed these forms for new projects re requests uh we also distributed um, a request for an update a status update on projects that were ongoing and um, a certification of any projects that were complete to be closed so actually the town board will get a future resolution to close out completed projects um, and if you would like also to see the status reports we can also provide that to you I, I would as well because we borrowed the money and like I said in the past it's been handled differently and uh, I know that there's been HO accounts all over the place that we have now I think have a handle on and compiled and, and uh, got that funding back but it was laying there for years but what, how does that work, though? I mean, don't you have a contract first for a starting date? Or do you borrow the money first and then get the contract for a starting date? Or do you do a, 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 a shovel-ready starting date and then get the money? How, what do you do first? What do you borrow first and then sign, look for a contract to start the work? No, I, I believe we're going to get the, the uh, bonding process started, right. which I don't anticipate we're going to get the bond sold until... The, the the fourth quarter so of uh, this year, and then and then we can go ahead and then place the orders uh, for the uh, for the project, um, you know, in anticipation of the. Well, we, and we're also going to ask the town board to authorize 
the borrowing. And on the strength of that bond authorization, we can then go into contract. That's what I think you should do 15 and 16 combined at the, by, all at once. Because by the time you get it done, get yeah. it all done in one shot, you don't have two legal counts. You have to save a lot of fees. You know what the fees are for these bond counts. Oh, do yeah. do t both years in one. Because yeah. by the time this stuff is done, 16 is going to be here. It's June. I will make that note. Yeah. So, but tell me what you're saying. You're the saying combined 15 and 16, the as soon as this bond is 2015 and 16 together, and do it all in one shot, because otherwise you'll be into next June in 16, mm -hmm. and you'll still be waiting for the money. You'll be paying the bond council again. And paying bond council that again. There's no exception. So, a bond advisor is uh, Noah Nadelson, and uh, our bond council. Bond council's Ken Bond. Yes, Ken. I know the name. <laughs> yeah, I know who it is. Well, what about Mr. McCarthy's suggestion there? I, I'm, I'm making note of that. And yeah. Oh, then you'll take a look and see if it's feasible? We'll consider that. And, yeah. Uh, more than like, I, I'm more than likely, you know, I can hear it. Yeah. Because of the lead yeah, yeah, time. Right. Then you'd move to 17, 18, 19, and yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, we, we do anticipate submitting the um, request for additional capital projects um, much earlier okay. in, in 2016, I would say, right. just right after the operating budget is in place, so, soliciting the department heads for future <coughs> ones. I know planning, uh, the planning department has uh, several requests that we have. And just one other point to your point about monitoring. Most of this is, is going to be self-policing. The, the three major projects, which is the animal shelter, and I think there's been a lot of um, discussion about that. I don't think that's going to fall by the wayside. No, I'm not that is going to happen. The LED lighting would take place in 2015, so that's you know that's over. That's about six million dollars of it. And the third component is the marina. Mm -hmm. The other items are more equipment oriented, and I think the department heads are very interested in, in replacing older vehicles that, quite frankly, some of them. One of them is 28 years old. The maintenance is killing us on them. The maintenance and the safety factor. Yeah. Um, so so I, I do think, but, but Paul is right. There may be other projects that come up in 2016 and 17 that might have more of a uh, elongated uh, construction period that need monitoring and Paul's on top of that. The Belmont Avenue project will probably take place in 2016, correct? $70,000. No, the reason it would be the getting of the leases. If we don't get leases from the backs of those stores, mm -hmm. then we have a problem in doing the project. So well, that might be one of those <coughs> examples that languish. Where yeah. You borrow for the money, and, and then you don't have the desire to, to repair the lot. Right. It takes those, uh, um, I guess, agreements yeah. with the. Well, we should plan for stuff. those additional parking lots over the future years. There'll, there'll probably be, we don't have to borrow all the money at no time, we, we need to authorize it, so there'll be authorizations done. Mm -hmm. While we may not borrow for it right away and sell the bond, we'll um, be authorized to do it. So it, it'll have the capacity to to do that project when you're ready to do it. Matthew, do you have an estimation <clears throat> as how long it will take to get those uh, leases, if we can get them at all? <clears throat> oh, we're starting to reach out to the property owners as you Does anybody know how far back the, uh, the easements? The easements go. I mean, what if we get one or two? Let's say no. Does They're that, over a decade expired. Does that kill the park? The parking lot? It's not a municipal lot without leases. Yeah, we'll have to, you know, reach out to the property owners, see where we're going, and we'll take them. <clears throat> Okay, I have no more questions. Anybody else? I'm good. Thank you very much for very the nice presentation. Thank you. Made it easy to understand. I move to go into executive session. Second. Supervisor Vecchio? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilwoman Noah? Yes. Matthew, Matthew, put that on the record. I move to close the executive session. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 I move to close the regular meeting. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.